us, Almighty God, show us your mercy. Sinners, we stand here before you. Jesus, our Savior, Lord of all the nations, Christ our Redeemer, hear the prayers we offer. Spare us and save us, comfort us in sorrow. Hear us, Almighty Lord, show us your mercy. Sinners, we stand here before you. Word of the Father, keystone of God's building, source of our gladness, gateway to the kingdom. Free us in mercy from the sins that bind us. Hear us, Almighty Lord, show us your mercy. Sinners, we stand here before you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, we gather once again to celebrate Mass, you watching online. We join our hearts, our minds, our hearts together to pray for God's mercy to be upon us and upon the whole world. And we acknowledge our sin to prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. We invoke your mercy and humble prayer, O Lord, that you may cause us, your servants, corrected by penance and schooled by good works, to persevere sincerely in your commands and come safely to the Paschal festivities. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, Go down at once to your people, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, for they have become depraved. They have soon turned aside from the way I pointed out to them, making for themselves a molten calf and worshiping it, sacrificing to it, and crying out, this is your God, O Israel, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. The Lord said to Moses, I see how stiff-necked this people is. Let me alone then, that my wrath may blaze up against them to consume them. Then I will make of you a great nation. But Moses implored the people, Moses implored the Lord, his God, saying, Why, O Lord, should your wrath blaze up against your own people, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt with such great power and with so strong a hand? Why should the Egyptians say, With evil intent he brought them out, that he might kill them in the mountains and exterminate them from the face of the earth? Let your blazing wrath die down, 
relent in punishing your people. Remember your servants Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, how you swore to them that by your own self, saying, I will make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky, and all this land that I promised, I will give your descendant, descendants as their perpetual heritage. So the Lord relented in the punishment he had threatened to inflict on his people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Our fathers made a calf at Horeb and adored a molten image. They exchanged their glory for the image of a grass-eating bullock. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. They forgot the God who had saved them, who had done great deeds in Egypt, wondrous deeds in the land of Ham, terrible things in the Red Sea. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Then he spoke of exterminating them, but Moses, his chosen one, withstood him in the breach to turn back his destructive wrath. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him might have eternal life. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, if I testify on my own behalf, my testimony is not true. But there is another who testifies on my behalf, and I know that the testimony he gives on my behalf is true. You sent emissaries to John, and he testified to the truth. I do not accept human testimony. But I say this so that you may be saved. He was a burning and shining lamp. And for a while you were content to rejoice in his light. But I have testimony greater than John's. The works that the Father gave me to accomplish, these works that I perform testify on my behalf that the Father has sent me. Moreover, the Father who sent me has testified on my behalf. But you have never heard his voice nor seen his form, and you do not have his word remaining in you because you do not believe in the one whom he has sent. You search the scriptures 
because you think you have eternal life through them. Even they testify on my behalf. But you do not want to come to me to have life. I do not accept human praise. Moreover, I know that you do not have the love of God in you. I came in the name of my Father, but you do not accept me. Yet if another comes in his own name, you will accept him. How can you believe when you accept praise from one another and do not seek the praise that comes from the only God? Do not think that I will accuse you before the Father. The one who will accuse you is Moses, in whom you have placed your hope. For if you had believed Moses, you would have believed me, because he wrote about me. But if you do not believe his writings, how will you believe my words? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus makes reference to Moses and the first reading today from the book of Exodus has Moses in this dialogue with God, which I have always found uh, quite entertaining. It reminds me always of parents who, when their child is loving and obedient and they're so filled with pride about the good things that their child has done, they always refer to their child with a very personal, my, look at my child. Isn't my child just wonderful? But if that child is disobedient, naughty, gets into some kind of mischief or trouble, then it's, look at what your child did. Look what your son or your daughter I didn't have that in the reading today, where God is looking at the people and telling Moses, your people have become depraved. And Moses, shooting right back, these are your people. God saying, your people have become depraved. Moses saying, they're your people. The wonderful thing that we have here is Moses is interceding for the people of Israel before God, pleading that God not destroy them, even though they have turned away, even though they've been faithless, even though they have grumbled and complained, and even though God himself has said how stiff-necked they are, Moses intercedes for them. If you listen carefully to the penitential rite for this morning's Mass, the third petition was, you intercede for us at the Father's right hand. Lord, have mercy. Just as Moses pleaded and interceded for the people of Israel, and God paid attention to Moses and spared his people, so for even more reason do we have cause for hope. And it's because Jesus is at the Father's right hand, interceding for us, pleading for us. God, spare your people. Even though they may be sinful, stiff-necked, hard-hearted, disobedient, sinful, Jesus has poured forth his life His blood has opened out his heart for us so that his mercy can wash over us. And 
We continue to hope because Jesus sits at the Father's right hand interceding for us sinners that God who spared the Israelites will also spare us, particularly in this present moment. One of the good things that Archbishop Wester did in ordering that all the churches closed is that he wanted us priests to continue to celebrate the Eucharist for our parishioners. We who act in the person of Jesus Christ, the head of the church, are exercising the priesthood of Jesus. And it is in Jesus' name that we offer this sacrifice pleading that God have mercy and spare his people. In particular, those who have been struck and ravaged by the coronavirus, that God in his kindness and mercy will hear our prayers, the prayer of his son Jesus, and help us to continue to have hope and to know that just as in the past, God favored his people, that he will continue to favor his people in the present time. So rather than pointing and saying, look at what you people have done, they're not my people, they're your people, let it become, we are all one people united with Christ, joined in his heart as he presents us to the Father. May he bring us to the fullness of life and joy and peace this day. Let us pray. We pray for the church that she may be an instrument of God's healing in the world, bringing hope to those who need hope at this present time, comforting the sick, bringing pardon to the sinner, and preaching the word always to encourage us and lift up our hearts to know that God is with us we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all who have the difficult decisions to make, whether in government, health, industry, business. We pray for all laborers, that the decisions that are made to help stem the spread of the coronavirus can be made courageously and prudently to preserve the common good and to help us have a sense of peace and good order in society. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have been affected by the coronavirus, especially those who are now suffering with it in hospitals that the hand of God may rest gently upon them and restore them to health. We pray for the doctors and nurses and all the health professionals who are attending to them, that they may be protected from this virus. And we pray for the families who are sheltering in place at home, that they may have patience and that their faith and hope may be strong, that this will pass as long as we practice these good practices recommended to us now of social distancing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the parishioners of St. Joseph on the Rio Grande, for your families, your friends, your relatives, those who you hold in your hearts and for whom you may have some anxiety, that you may be at peace and that Christ Jesus, who intercedes for us at the Father's right hand, 
may bring you the graces that you need this day to live this day with joy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those commended to our prayers this day, for the repose of the deceased, Ana Marie Torres and Alfred Ungenwa, may they rest in peace and for all who have died as a result of the coronavirus. May they be taken up into the heavenly banquet to join all the saints in the praise of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for your own special needs and prayers, which I invite you to offer at this time. Almighty God, hear the prayers of your Son, Christ Jesus, who intercedes for your people, whom you have rescued from the powers of sin and death by sending us your Son, Jesus, who by his passion, death, and resurrection has restored us to the fullness of life and given us hope of eternal life. Strengthen that hope within our hearts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Come back to me with all your heart. Don't let fear keep us apart. Trees to bend, though straight and tall. So must we to others call. Long have I waited for your coming home to me and living deeply our new life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that what we offer in sacrifice may cleanse us in our frailty from every evil, and always grant us your protection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through bodily fasting you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. I will place my law within them, and I will write it upon their hearts, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people, says the Lord. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May your heavenly gifts, O Lord, we pray, which you bestow as a heavenly remedy on your people, not bring judgment to those who receive them. Through Christ our Lord, amen. We received word yesterday from the Archbishop's office that the Holy Father is requesting that we join together in prayer with him uh, all throughout the world. Uh, the time will be at 11 o'clock a.m. here, Mountain Daylight Time. And you might check with Eternal Word uh, Television Network. Uh, I believe it's, it's going to be broadcast. Uh, I'll have more details in tomorrow's Mass. I forgot to bring the memo with me. But tomorrow, 11 o'clock a.m., to join in prayer with our Holy Father, and to join together with the faithful throughout the world as we pray for a speedy end to the coronavirus and to pray for the intention of those who have been affected by it and impacted by it. 
The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May your servants be shielded, O Lord, by the protection of your loving kindness, that doing what is good in this world, they may reach you their highest good through Christ our Lord. Amen. May, may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Save your people, O Lord. Show us the way to come home. We have been wandering far from your law. Save your people, O Lord.